What if I told you this 3D Unreal Engine environment took less than 15 minutes to make and that it was created based on a single image I generated using Midjourney? Last week, a new generative AI tool broke the internet once again, and I have to say I'm really excited about this one. It's called Marble by World Labs, and it creates full 3D environments in the form of Gaussian splats from a single image. Real quick, Gaussian splatting is a way of rendering 3D scenes using thousands of tiny 3D Gaussians, which are basically 3D ellipsoids with properties like position, color, and opacity. When all of these Gaussians blend together, they form a smooth, detailed 3D reconstruction of a scene without using traditional meshes or polygons. Normally, if you've worked with Gaussian splats before, you know the usual process. You need to basically take hundreds of photos from every angle, either of a real scene or a 3D scene to get a clean reconstruction. Marble does something completely different. It takes a single image, infers the surrounding space, automatically builds a panorama from it, and then reconstructs a surprisingly usable 3D splat, all based on one picture. So today I'm gonna walk you through the exact workflow I've been using to turn my mid-journey concepts into explorable Unreal Engine spaces in literally minutes. First by generating an image in mid-journey, then putting that image into marble, which creates a panorama first, and then a Gaussian splat in the form of a polygon file format, then putting that file into PostShot, converting it into a PostShot file and importing that into Unreal Engine using the PostShot plugin. Now I know that sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but trust me, it's less than 15 minutes. So let's start with an image. I've been on this retro futuristic off-planet aesthetic for a while now. And if you've seen any of my previous tutorials, you've definitely seen bits of it. And although you can generate the environments directly inside Marble with a prompt, I personally prefer prompting in Midjourney because the style consistency is a lot stronger. So I'm gonna be using one of these images here that I made earlier. Now go to marble.worldlabs.ai and create here where the paintbrush icon is. You can just drag in your image that you created in Midjourney. Marble's first job will be to generate a panorama from your image and this may take a few minutes. What's cool about creating a panorama first is that you can actually edit it and add specific elements to it. Like here, I tried adding some books in the shelves. Um, I ended up preferring without the books, but I still think it's really cool that you can edit the panorama and even add specific items. Once you have your panorama, you can hit create world and it starts reconstructing the splat. That will also take a few minutes. And then here you have it, a fully 3D Gaussian splat scene. Once you have that, you can go into the studio view and there's a few things that you're gonna need to tweak if you want to import it into Unreal Engine. So first you'll want to change the rotation. There's this default 180 rotation. For some reason, just set it to zero. It will look flipped in marble, but 
for some reason, this is the way that it ends up being the right orientation in Unreal. Second is scale. So there's no like universal scale factor that I found that makes it the right scale in Unreal Engine. Um, a lot of the interiors were around 1.8 to two times. And some of the exteriors I had to scale all the way up from three to four times. So it really depends. But just a quick important note, do not scale your splat inside Unreal Engine. Scaling Gaussian splats in Unreal breaks everything. It, there's like warps, gaps, like weird artifacts. So always scale it in marble before exporting, which means there will be a bit of trial and error. But once you're happy, you can export this splat as a .ply file. Next, we're going to convert that .ply file into a PostShot file. So PostShot has a free version, but it adds a watermark inside Unreal. So if you want a clean watermark free scene, you'll need to upgrade. But if you're just testing environments, then the free version is fine. So open PostShot and drag your .ply file in. It should load instantly. And here you'll see that you have the Gaussian splat in PostShot. Then you'll want to save it as a PostShot file. Now let's jump into Unreal. Um, when you've installed PostShot, it should come with an Unreal Engine plugin that's automatically downloaded. So in Unreal, you can go to Edit, Plugins, and search for PostShot and make sure that it's enabled. If it's not, you'll have to restart your project. Now just import your PostShot file like any other asset. Um, I'm using one of the MetaHuman lighting scenes uh, because the lighting in one of the scenes is just really close to what I wanted for this specific scene, but you can just use any environment. Then you can drag your post shot asset in your world. And voila, um, you have your post shot file in Unreal Engine. Um, if you wanna make this fully playable, you can just add some collisions. I usually throw in a big invisible plane under everything and scale it until it covers basically the entire walkable area. Um, I think here I also added a few area lights to kind of match the mood from the original mid-journey image. And then I also added a play your start. and just making sure that you're using the third person blueprint.
and then hit play. So then you can see that your character will literally just be walking around this AI generated environment. Um, if you want a tutorial on how to create your custom character or turn it into a third person character, uh, you can check out my previous tutorials on that. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for today. I'm just gonna give a few thoughts on the workflow and the tool in general. So obviously this is not really final game ready quality. If I were to actually be building a real UE5 game, I would want to model everything properly, unwrap, texture, optimize, all the usual stuff. But Marble as a concepting tool, I think is really great. The fact that it lets you turn a single idea from a journey into something that you can walk through, light and experiment within Unreal, all in under 15, even sometimes 10 minutes is really awesome. So I will totally be using this to quickly preview environments, test mood boards, explore different styles and visualize space and iterate on ideas in general. So. If you try Marble, let me know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to subscribe if you don't already. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.